Hi, I'm Anna with Marshall Communications, and now that it's October, it's time for some of those rich, hearty meals that warm us up and taste super, super good. So today I'm going to make a sauerkraut and kielbasa bake, and I've already done some of the prep work. I've sliced some of the kielbasa up, and I shredded Emmentaler cheese, but if one, you don't like Emmentaler, you can substitute cheddar, and I've done that, and it tastes great too. Um, and then I'm draining the sauerkraut in the sink right now. So I put it in a sieve over the sink and then I kind of wrung it out because you want it to be pretty dry so it bakes well. And then I have some more prep to do and I'll show you that. And there's this really cool stuff that makes it look like such a beautiful dish. So I'm excited to show you that. Once the sausage is starting to crisp up a bit, that's when it's time to add all of your grain sauerkraut, and then the mustard and fennel seeds and black pepper. You're going to mix it all in and cook it for four minutes or so before you add the wine and let that simmer for another couple of minutes. Once you cook the wine down, turn off the heat and then we're going to spread the five tablespoons of sour cream kind of across the top as evenly as possible over this sort of messy sauerkraut thing. And if you're not a huge fan of sauerkraut, you're probably looking at this and being like, oh god, that's a lot of sauerkraut. But the thing is, is that when it bakes, it really kind of caramelizes and it becomes a totally different thing than, you know, raw sauerkraut. So I think if you're like kind of okay with sauerkraut, this is a dish that you should definitely try and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Okay, so we're spreading out the sour cream, and then we're going to sprinkle the cheese on top with an even layer, and then comes my favorite step, which is the beautification of this dish. And, and one thing to make sure you do is to use an oven-proof pan for this, like I'm using my cast iron pan because this baby's tough. Um, okay, so onto the pretty stuff. So the next thing you want to do is take a couple potatoes, maybe three, I'm going to sort of see how much potato I get out of these, and then very, very thinly slice them. And I'm going to be using my mandolin, but in case you don't have that, I wanted to mention something about how to hold a knife properly, because the handle is not what you want to hold, like this anyways. What I do is I put my thumb on one side and my forefinger on the other side of the blade, and then I wrap my other fingers around the the handle itself and then I have this super awesome grip and my knife is going to go where I want it to go so it makes it just so much safer especially if you're cutting lots of thin slices but because this dish does need lots of thin very thin slices like not quite paper thin but like mm, two millimeter maybe um, I love my mandolin and so mandolin safety glove <laughs> very important and I do a couple of little test runs to see if they're as thin as I want and then I can adjust the blade to make it thinner or thicker depending and then I can cut um, super super thin potato slices in like no time at all so once your potatoes are all Slice super thin. I'm going to pour a tablespoon of melted butter, um, a teaspoon of olive oil, and then some salt, and toss them together so they're all sort of evenly coated because this is going to be baked on top of this dish. And so if the potato slices are all sort of evenly coated, they'll crisp up really nicely. Now this is the fun part for me anyway. You carefully place the little potato slices overlapping each other a little bit around the edge. Like so. And I sort of go in one big circle and then a smaller circle and sort of end with some of the middle.
So when you're all done with the potatoes, it should look something like this. And this is what we're gonna pop in the oven at 400 degrees for about 50 minutes or until the potatoes on top are not quite potato chips, but like crispy and brown and super tasty. Okay, it just came out of the oven. Look at this. It is so beautiful. You're not gonna wanna eat it until you smell it. And then that melted cheese and sour cream and crispy potatoes and caramelized sauerkraut with sausage is just gonna be too much to resist. Yay!